Hey there! This video guides you through setting up Twilio WhatsApp Business API with WhatsApp 4 Dynamics Integrated CRM. Before we dive into the setup, make sure you've got three tabs open. Your Dynamics 365 CRM integrated with WhatsApp 4 Dynamics, your Twilio account, and on a new tab, open Power Apps or Power Automate. Both have the same steps. For this video, we will use Power Apps, so go to makes.powerapps.com. Now that everything is in place, let's get started. This screen should look familiar. It's your Dynamics 365 CRM home screen. From the left side panel, select Configuration. Click on New to create a new configuration. We'll be working mostly in this area. First, let's give this configuration a name. I suggest something simple and easy to identify, especially if you plan to create more configurations in the future. The communication medium is locked to WhatsApp for obvious reasons. Since this video is focused on Twilio, select Twilio as your messaging platform from the options. If you're using the Meta WhatsApp Business API instead, check out our video for that configuration. You can find the link to it in the description. Next, we need to input your Twilio details. Switch over to your Twilio tab. From the Twilio home screen, scroll down to Account Info. Copy both your account SID and authentication token and paste them back into the CRM. For the mobile number, go to the messaging dropdown and select send a WhatsApp message. Copy the provided sandbox number and paste it into the configuration. The messaging service SID is essential for sending WhatsApp messages, so let's set that up next. Switch back to Twilio and select services under the messaging option. Click on Create Messaging Service. Now, start by adding a name for your service. Then, select Notify My Users as the purpose of messaging. Click on Create Messaging Service. Since we're using the sandbox, no need to add a sender now. But if you have purchased a Twilio number, you can add it to sender. Now, in the Integration section, select Send a Webhook. This will open up the Request URL and Fallback URL fields. Here's where the third tab comes into play. Go to your Power Apps tab, open the Environment option, and select your CRM, in our case, it's Sales Trial. Navigate to Flows, find the real-time chat logging flow, edit it, click Continue, and open the first tab from this flow. Now save and copy the URL, switch back to Twilio, and paste it into both the Request URL and Fallback URL fields, as well as the Callback URL. Now, click on Step 4 and finalize the configuration. Go back to the Service tab in Twilio to copy and paste the newly created SID from the middle column. Back in the CRM, select the entities you need like case and opportunity for this configuration. You can choose different entities that suit your business needs. You'll notice the maximum session duration is locked for one day for all users. Set a custom chat refresh timer to ensure every conversation is up to date. Also, configure an idle timeout duration so that if no activity occurs during a chat session, your team members can take over the conversation. All steps are done. Let's save and validate the configuration. And there you have it. We've successfully configured WhatsApp with CRM using Twilio and WhatsApp 4 Dynamics. 